Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. So I have this adorable order from Cynthia. Cynthia watches my channel. She actually sent me this mold in that Happy Mail you saw the other day, which I showed you. It came with one of these little bears that I make all the time and I had two of my own as well. She wants actually five of them for her grandchildren and this mold is a bench. It's actually two benches. I had to look it up on the picture because I, I didn't know what I was looking at. So this is one bench and this is another bench. So because she has five grandchildren, I'm going to choose this one. So this is the back of the bench, this is the seat of the bench, plus she wants words on it, so it has to be this one. And then these are the two sides of the bench to put it together. So her color choices individually for the grandchildren were light blue, yellow, light purple, light green, and she said baby fox colors. And I'm like, I don't even know what that means. Is that something new? So then she sent me a picture of a baby fox. So, oh, okay. So you meant that literally. So these are the closest I could come up with is the wheat color that I love mixed with some white, she said. So light tan, white, you know, what a fox is colored with. So I thought that these pigments were the best option for the colors that she wanted, and they would all go together, although I don't have this color in anything cl close to that. Um, this is the only color I have that is close to a baby fox. So that one's going to be a little bit different, but not too much. Then in the bench, she wanted some sparkles, some clear, some flowers possibly. Um, so I'm going to see if I have some flowers for the bottom. I'm not sure if I have flowers that small. Let me go look. Forgot to look for those. I'm going to mix up some resin and let's get started. eight ounces mixed up I know it's too much but um, I wanted to be sure I wasn't going to be wrong on my measurements so I'm going to do these three colors first for the bears since I only have three molds then we'll have to unmold them and make two more so that's fine no big deal um, and then I have my clear in the cup there for the bench and the sparkle dust. So I'm just going to mix my colors. I put ball bearings in all these because there is like a residue at the bottom of these. So the ball bearing helps break all that up so you can mix it up really well before you start pouring it out. So we're just going to get them. And I think I'm going to add not this light blue one because this is for a little boy. But I think I'm going to add sparkle dust to all the other ones since they are for little girls. But we're not gonna do that to the little guy. We're just gonna make him light blue. And like I said, we're gonna run them through the vacuum chamber as soon as they're all mixed up so we don't have any bubbles forming on their little bottoms. Oops, just squirting. I'm not counting, I'm just squirting. And because they are like deep, this is the color you're gonna see. So you don't have to like check it on your stick or anything because when we pour it into the mold, it will be this deep and this is the color that he will show up as. But I think it's, I think that's about good. That's light blue if you ask me. Let me grab a paper towel. I'm just gonna reuse my stick for them all wipe this off. I did pull out my pressed flowers so hopefully they will fit. That's a really really narrow little bench so I'm hoping I can find some to fit in there. I'm sure I will. We'll do yellow. Oh I don't think I ever opened this one. Let me find a thumbtack. Nope not open. I'm still working way, my way through this box of coloring. And I think I'm going to add some white to the yellow because I, I don't want it like bright yellow for, I don't know how old she is, but I don't think, I think she wants like a light color. 
And I see yellow just got in there. So we'll just lighten it up with some white. And I'll probably add, because this is a pretty bright yellow. I might even put my ocean white to help lighten it a little faster than that. Let me grab that and see if that helps, because I don't want a bright, bright white, especially if she's just a little youngin. It helps a little bit, and I think these cure darker than you're looking at too, so I'm gonna add some more. The only thing with pigment paste is mix it extremely well or it will settle on the head of that bear because that would be the bottom of the mold. And I don't really want any white drops uncured. That's better, that lightened it up a lot. So just make sure you mix the dickens out of it. That looks good. I like that yellow. That's really pretty. And then we got purple. And I'm going to put sparkle in all of these. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I've used the purple before. It must be clogged. So let me grab my... Oops, that was a little much. That's pretty, I like that color. So let me put some crushed crystal in everything. Well, not everything, not the blue. Let me grab a little spoon. Just a dab. Oops. And I'm gonna put it in the bench. Hopefully I didn't just add too much. I feel like I just added too much to the bench. Hoping it doesn't get rid of the flowers that I just pulled out. And I think I'm gonna add a drip of glue because sometimes that sparkle dust will um, drop. And I don't want it to drop in this case. I want it to stay suspended. So this just thickens it up. See how thick and gooey it is? But you could still put it through the vacuum chamber, so that's still not a problem. Let me get that wiped off. See how gooey that got? That should hold it. I don't see any of the sparkle dust in this one though. I think I'm gonna add some more. I went kind of light in that one. If you're looking for this, what I say, sparkle dust, it's actually called crushed crystal. So some people that are looking for it in my description box for the link don't know what I'm talking about. So it's called crushed crystal. And that just does not want to show up in there. I need some more. Let me put some more in. know why it doesn't want to show up. Maybe because of the white pigment paste is too strong, so I don't want to overdo it. I still don't see it, see it, so I'm not going to... Maybe we'll see it in the finished product. Let's see how I did with this one. you got to stir it a lot. The more you stir, the more the pieces break up. And you'll have less of a chance of them falling, so if you don't stir much they are heavier than they would be if you stirred them a lot. Yeah, I put a lot in there. Too much. I'm still going to put the flowers in, so hopefully we can see the flowers through it. Let me throw this. This doesn't need to go through the vacuum chamber, so we're going to start on that. 
while this is in the vacuum chamber. Get these guys poured first so we can get them moved out of the way. I'm just going to spray a little bit of alcohol down in there. This one shouldn't be too bad. There's no glue in it. So we're just going to fill him up and set him aside. They hold about an ounce and a half. And there's just a teeny tiny little bit left. This one will be the purple. And with the glue in it, it's really, really thick. So I'm just going to like slice it off, squish it in the ears, and then... That's the only thing I worry about with glue and character molds. Whatever parts, like their eyes, their ears, whatever's down here, if the glue forms a bubble in there, they pop right off when you're unmolding it. So be very careful with glue in your molds with these guys. Or you could pour the ears first and then add your glue. That works too. I've done that a couple times recently. You gotta slice it off. <laughs> oh goodness, okay. Come on, all right. And the same with the yellow. There's a little piece of glitter in there. The wrong color. Let me get that cut off. Squish it down in there. go. Barely anything left in that cup. All right, those just have to cure. So for this, I'm going to pour these first and get that out of the way. Let me spray them. And I don't know if doming these helps or it hurts because I've never poured this one before. So I guess we're going to find out. Sometimes when pieces have to fit together, you don't dome them. Okay, now this one. almost too much. And then we're just going to do this bench with the hearts. Whoa. Don't go over those hearts or they're going to fill right in. And then we got this one here. Oops, I didn't want to fill all that up. I want to put my flowers in first. Let me grab a pair of tweezers. And I pulled out my little pressed flowers. And since we have colorful bears, I don't think it matters really what color flowers we put in because it's a very colorful little family. I just need to make sure they fit in here. Um, let's see, how about this one? Let me get some resin on it, it'll help pick it up. And then I'm gonna put some greens behind them. Um, how about that one?
what do I have? I have yellow and pink. How about one of these? Is that going to fit? And what else do I have? Um, we'll do purple one like that. Squish these down a little bit. And you could do these in two layers if you don't want to be messing around moving them. I think I'm going to do a, uh, a yellow one in the middle. Then I'm going to lay some greenery on the back of all of it. So if you wanted to do it in layers, it would just help the floating thing. So I don't, I don't think they're going to float. I think we're going to be okay. Let me grab some greens. I just kind of pull these apart. And put them behind so you can see as if they were growing naturally. But you want to be able to see them, so make sure they're in the negative space. Break off that stem. Let's see if I can find another one. Got these here. Let's see. And then I'll finish doming it. Whoops. Once I have them all in. So make sure you know if you're working face up or face down. So because this is face down, I'm doing them backwards. If you were working face up, then you have to do them as if you're looking at the final results. So the greens would have gone in the back. Oh, I didn't have too much left over. I did really well. So I got one ounce plus the colors. So I'll figure something to do with those. I'm just going to push these down for a, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes until it stops rising. And I'm going to go pour these into something else. All right, I took the three out and we're going to pour these two. And then I will show you the other three. So this one's going to be the light green. Well, it says green, but I'm going to make it light green if I need to with some white. Because I don't have a light green. Not in this family of colors anyway. I want them all about, you know, the same opacity, the same family of colors. So I'm going to just make this... First I'm going to make it darker and then I'm going to make it lighter, if that makes sense. Or should I say, I'm going to make it more opaque, and then I will lighten it up. Although this isn't too, too green, so it's not that bad. And then I will remove the bubbles, because I didn't see any bubbles on the other one, which was good. It's just not quite opaque enough yet. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of white in here. Just a touch. Lighten this up a little bit. Oh, that's good. Much better. Just make sure you get that pigment paste completely completely mixed okay so for this one I'm going to do wheat and white and I think I'm going to try to marble it so I'm just going to pour a little bit of the white and we'll make that the marbling color 
I don't need a ton. And then the wheat, the main color. That looks good. You could also dirty pour it if you wanted to, but I'm not sure how it's gonna react being mica powder mixed with pigment powder. So just, this is my homemade pigment paste. And it looks like I got some resin stuck in there because look at this big chunk. So don't put your resin stick in your pigment paste, you guys. Look at that cured inside my pigment paste. So do not do that. All right, I'm just going to mix the rest of it with this. Oh yeah, I do wanna add crushed crystal to these two as well. Well, I'm not gonna add crushed crystal to this one. It's already shimmery. And I don't want to add glue to this one because I won't be able to marble it at that point. So those two are about ready. I'm not going to put the white in the vacuum chamber. That's no big deal. I'll just add a little bit of shimmer to the green. And then, whoops. A little bit of here. Everything's falling. Stir that up real good so it goes all over it. I don't know if I even see it in the little guys, barely a little bit in the yellow and a little bit more in the purple. So we'll see if we could see it in this light green one. All right, no need for you to come with me. We will just pour. I just took them out of the, the vacuum chamber and I forgot to add the drop of glue to the green. So I'm gonna do that now and stir it really slowly. So as to not create all the bubbles I just pulled out of it. There we go. So let's do this one first since it's the easiest. Grab my little pink stick here. I mix up three ounces, so it should be just about perfect. And that one took it all. All right, so now this one, we're going to marble. And all I'm gonna do is pour this in like that. Stir it and pray we see some white. And then pour the rest of the white in here. There we go. Not enough to make anything out of. So that was perfect. Three ounces was absolutely perfect. A little bit of white left, but not much. All right, so let me wipe my hands and I will show you the finished ones. I just don't want anything getting on these little guys. Maybe I'll pick it up with this. So here is the, pur the purple. This is the yellow. Came out really cute, no bubbles anywhere. There is a little bit of sparkle. I know you can't see it, but in person you can see it a little bit. So we need to doll these guys up. Here is the purple. This one, you can see the sparkle a little bit better, but I'm not sure that you can, but I can. And then the blue with no sparkle. So we're gonna get these guys all finished. 
Let me move these aside, spray the top, and we will unmold the bench and the two side pieces after I get rid of some things. Okay, wiped everything off, put things away. These two I was experimenting with, a couple colors somebody ordered for something in the future, so I wanted to see if I could marble them, and you can. I just need to know, I needed to know how much white, so I do need more white, but those are so pretty, that blue color. So these will be coming up in a future video. Here's a bookmark I made. You can see the sparkle in there. Here's the back. Both sides are pretty cool. So I'll top coat that with a little bit more sparkle because this blue didn't have any in it. So I want it equal everywhere. Here's the two little ornaments that I poured with the leftovers. Oh, that's got the pretty sparkle in there. I might add a few rhinestones to that, we'll see. And this one I used all three colors. Of course, not one drip goes to waste. And there's that one. All right, let's get the main event. So this shrunk, both of them. So what I did, I used my UV resin and I filled it back up. I didn't dome it, I just filled it. And then I cured it for five minutes under the lamp. That way, if it's supposed to be, for some reason, I didn't want to have to re-pour it. So that's how I saved that because it resin shrinks. So as you can see, you can see all the sparkle in the bench. That's pretty. And then this one, same thing. Just need a little bit of trim, but not necessarily. So that's good. Everything feels pretty good. So these are the ends and that would be the inside. Here's, oh, I guess they're both coming out at the same time. All right, so there's the back of the bench. And here is the front of the bench, which I see as it cured, it bulged on this side. So I don't know if there's any way to stop that from happening. So, hmm, let me see what it looks like. This goes like this. Oop, this is the inside. This is the outside. And this is the inside. Okay, that fit together nicely. I probably should do one side at a time because this is the back. Make sure it fits in here. Yep. And this is the front. Yeah, I see I'm looking at the mold right now and the mold is not perfect. So even if I remade this, it's gonna happen again. See how that's bulging? I didn't notice it until just now. So it's not too bad. I think she might be okay. I'm gonna ask her if that's okay. But what do you think of the flowers? You can see the greenery through the sparkle. And only three of these little guys fit, so the other two are going to have to be on the side. And it covers up the bench, so I'm not sure how she's going to do it. But that's what she wants, so that is what she's getting. Um, she wanted some words on this, but I'll have to ask her, because if I do put them on, you're going to cover basically everything I just did. But she's going to get the ultimate say on that, so I'm not going to make that final decision. But isn't that a cute little bench? You could do it in a thousand different ways. And I don't think I'm going to glue it or anything because it doesn't really need it. So let me set these guys aside so nobody gets ruined waiting. And I'm going to set these aside and we're going to start finishing up all the extras in the meantime.
I got everything done. What I did with this piece, I'm still waiting for an answer back from her about the words, and I haven't heard back. Um, if you hear noise in the background, today's video I'm recording is post-Hurricane Milton, and I've got a generator running outside the window. So if you hear something, it's our generator. Um, and yeah, I finished everything else, seeing that I had plenty of time. But since I didn't hear back, what I'm going to do is just put Nana's bench on here like she asked in the email. And this can be taken off if she doesn't like it. I just didn't want to cover up all the flowers and such if she didn't want them covered, but it can be removed. I'm not going to put a coating over this because it has to fit into these pieces here. So if I put a coating, it's already pretty tight. So I can't put another coating on top of it, but it looks really cute either way. So she has options there. Here's the two that I unmolded recently, a butterfly in his hand. I tried to do each one a little bit different, one flower on that ear, and then this is the new one. The marbling came out a little bit. It's hard to marble with mica powder but it did come out a little bit. So flowers in this one's hands and, and the ears. Rhinestones, of course. Little bow on the back. Here's the yellow one with the butterfly and flower on the ear. Flower in her hand. A bow on the back. This is the little boy. I have him holding a rubber ducky. And I didn't do a whole lot. I didn't want to make him like all girly. So this one has a couple different kinds of flowers. And then a butterfly on top of the ear. For the extras, I have, whoops, this I did in sparkle dust. Sorry, my dogs are going nuts. Lots going on post hurricane. Here is one of the um, starfish and the other one. So I made them both in the keychains. I think that color is just stunning. And then I put some rhinestones on these little guys. And those are the extras. So I will put this all together, get you a few pictures. And that's today's video. Took me several days, not that you knew that, but <laughs> I had a lot of interruptions this week. So it came out good. Let me put that in there. I don't wanna ship it like this because I don't want it getting bent although the weather is cooling down. But regardless, I'll get it put together. I'm gonna to get you some pictures. And thanks for joining me, you guys. I will see everyone tomorrow. I hope you all have a blessed day, everyone. Bye. Oh, mm -hmm.